Hello friends, success of every root canal treatment is dependent on how efficiently we clean, shape and fill the canal. Ethylene diamine tetraacetic acid, more commonly known to us as EDTA, plays a vital role in achieving the same. Valdent RCT prep contains 17% ethylene diamine tetraacetic acid that is EDTA and 10% carbamide peroxide in a water soluble base. It creates an effervescent effect with sodium hypochlorite. This combination promotes bleaching of the internal surfaces. Carbamide peroxide releases oxygen and further enhances the bleaching process. When we talk about EDTA, what comes to mind is smear layer. What is this smear layer? As we start instrumentation, debris gets accumulated on the dentinal surfaces which comprise organic and inorganic substances. This is what we call as smear layer. EDTA, when used with sodium hypochlorite, is believed to effectively remove the smear layer. Presence of smear layer does not allow proper disinfection of root canal walls and also interferes with adaptation of filling materials to the walls. Another important role of EDTA is lubrication. Continuous negotiation of endodontic files might lead to accidental breakage of files due to friction or calcification present in the canals. Usage of EDTA helps avoid instrument breakage during the process. How to use EDTA? A little amount can be deposited inside the canals using sterile applicator tips. It can also be applied by using the files coated in EDTA gel. Action of EDTA begins after about one minute of its deposition. Research has proved that chelating agents like EDTA reduce the root denting micro-hardness of most superficial layer from the root canal lumen. Furthermore, irrigation with EDTA in combination with citric acid or sodium hypochlorite removes the calcium hydroxide medication quite effectively.